Hi. Thank you for watching my video. I am uploading my videos to share with you what impressed me on astrophotography activities. What you are seeing right now is a screencast of my Raspberry Pi LCD display. While I was capturing M8, I tried the H alpha filter on my Newtony this time. I thought it was the last chance to aim at the Lagoon Nebula. Because it was very low in the southern sky in October. Due to the bad weather of this summer, I almost never had a chance to photograph those dark sky objects in the summer Milky Way. So I would say goodbye to those summer objects. Instead, I got M42 in the same week. So now I say hello to those winter objects. I will show you another screencast of the Great Orion Nebula later in this video. The light cast over the nebula was at a very high level. Light pollution from the city of Osaka makes it hard to find the teapot in Sagittarius. Or Nanto Roku Se called in Japan. I tried an even more challenging mission. That is, H alpha filter on 200mm f4 Newtonian. Using Raspberry Pi HQ camera with 16 seconds exposures. The result is obvious. The light signal level is too low to get a good image. By the way, I finally uploaded the software I have been developing to GitHub. The link is in the description. This is a comparison to the image taken from f1.8 camera lens with a focal length of 85 mm. The light energy received in each pixel in the Newtony case is so much lower. It is just a coincidence that the ratio of f numbers and the focal lengths are 2.35 times. It means 2.35 times in light intake. And 2.35 times in image magnification produce about 30 times smaller light power in the Newtony case. This does not even include the light blockage of the secondary mirror and the supporting spokes. As well as the reduced diameter. Due to the primary mirror translated closer to the secondary mirror in my configuration. Well, unfortunately, I have to conclude that using the H alpha filter on Newtony is not a good idea. Okay, let's see the M42 case. This was recorded in Ruri K on the same night I captured the whole night skytime lapse, which I posted previously. This time I did not use any filter. It was fun to watch this live stack in real time. I enjoy it in different tone levels. I changed it to less contrast. To get an image just like what you see in the naked eye. Also the high contrast image was possible with a few changes. To get an image just like what you get after image processing of a number of raw frames. Here is another comparison to the camera lens case. The lens is FD 70 to 210 mm f4. So the optical properties are very similar. The differences are the exposure time and the use of the UHC filter used with the lens. The major difference of the outcome is that the image sharpness is much better in the Newtony case. This is just another evidence that the reflective optics will resolve better in color images. Alright, that's all for this time. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.